What are you doing, Rich? Soldering. Soldering what, Rich? Soldering with a crap soldering iron. Oh, you know. Okay. So the gas powered soldering iron. Yeah. Right, oh, so um, we've got majority of the chassis made now. As you can see, there's a front and a back on it, all being glued up. <laughs> okay, yeah, recording. Going, yeah. yeah. All right, so um, we've got to start fitting some of the sensors. Um, we've got the uh, the H-bridge driver installed now uh, for uh, driving both the motors. Um, you can uh, put pulse width modulation into the H-bridge driver to vary the speed or the power that you're sending to the motors. You can also reverse direction um, of the motors, so uh, quite useful things. And um, here we have the ultrasonic sensor, and uh, we're now going to fit that to the front. Um, Richard says that they're quite directional, so um, it's quite possible that we're going to need a couple more, uh, one on either side as well, uh, to stop it from bumping into things on the corners. So. Um, well, here we go, a bit of fun. I tell you what, if you stop now. So, one thing you need to watch out for if you buy yourself a cheap Chinese Arduino copy, um, is some of the screw holes, specifically this one here, and this one here are very, very close to the connectors, uh, such that if you try and put a screw in the screw hole, excuse me, um, the head of the screw doesn't fit between the connectors. So here we are with a drill. <laughs> um, a set of uh, nuts on the end of um, on the end of a, a, a small screw bolt, and uh, we're going to go ahead and use a, a file or a drill bit to try and turn this on a makeshift lathe. Uh, wish us All right. Uh, here's an interesting one. We've gone with um, a Dremel and a drill. So uh, just bear with. Let's start the Dremel. Well, a little bit of ingenuity, and uh, I think that um, that bolt has been turned down a little. So uh, we'll see how we do. <laughs> 